approximate the mean for the following frequency distribution. So in order to do a mean here, we're kind of in a bit of trouble because the class ranges are technically qualitative pieces of information because we have a lower bound, dash, and upper bound, and there's nothing you can do with a, a dash mathematically. So we need to convert it to something that is useful mathematically. And what we use is the midpoint. So the midpoints, if you'll recall, are the average between the upper and lower class boundaries. So if we have 70 as our lower class bound and 74 as our upper class bound, 70 plus 74 divided by 2 averages those numbers and gives me a midpoint of 72 for the first class. All right, if I do the same for the next class, 75 plus 79 divided by 2, then I get 77. And if you'll notice, if I subtract 77 and 72, I get 5. And over here, if you look at any two consecutive lower class limits or any two consecutive upper class limits, those are off by 5 as well. This is what's known as your class width. And if you find that class width, you can just repeatedly add your class width to uh, each successive midpoint and come up with the remaining uh, midpoints. So uh, either way you get your midpoints is fine, but that's a little bit faster. Now in order to use the calculator to get the mean, we're going to put the midpoints into L1 and the frequencies into L2. So I'll hit stat and hit enter to go into my list editor. Since I already have some items in there, I'm going to clear those out and start entering these midpoints into L1 and then the frequencies into L2. Okay, once those are all in, if you leave the list editor, uh, you can then press stat, slide over to calc. The very first option is one bear stats. Uh, if you're seeing this menu, that's great. Uh, the list that is being referred to is the list of midpoints that we have. So that's already set to L1. Frequency list is L2. So that's already set. That's great. If you're not seeing that, um, it just means that you either have an 83 or one of the earlier model um, 84 calculators. And to do one bear stats there, just you'll see it on the home screen. Press second and one, then comma, second and two, and it'll do the exact same thing. So either way you get to it, just press enter to calculate, and you'll find the weighted mean here is 92.87. And I'm just going to take it to two decimal places, but follow any rounding rules provided in the problem.